The internet will not kill the insurance agent, at least not all of them. How as an agent or broker use the internet to grow your business I talked about with nobody less than the marketing and social media legend Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary Vaynerchuk built not only two successful companies but also a tremendous personal brand getting paid at least 150,000 per keynote talk. So he surely knows a thing or two about sales. Hey guys, I'm here in London with nobody less than Gary Vaynerchuk. Thank you, very much, thank you very much for your time. Um, after working years in the insurance and finance industry, I founded Digital Scouting as a content platform for uh, insurance and finance professionals as a hobby, side hustle, um, but it blew up a few months after it started in 2018, it blew up with also significant revenue. Um, and for this conservative topic, I use social media a lot and try to be also funny, as funny as a German can be. And yeah. well, and, and this led to keynotes around the world, um, to uh, to posts that got a lot of views. I quit my corporate job. I loved um, digital scouting. Is now twenty people, and we consult insurers and banks and helping them building digital products and services they like. So, app because we have people on our team that build apps in other industries that really resonated. We help them with market entry because I have like a decade of networking behind me and um, so I can make intros to people and bring them together. And last but not least, uh, I call it attention hacking what we do because all the things when we started digital scouting, it was uh, surely um, a lot by accident. We, could, we only could do the stuff that was efficient and cheap. And all our learnings and methods we are sharing now with our clients calling it attention. Last but not least, Bitcom, the Germany's uh, association for uh, digital industry, called us one of the hottest consulting companies in finance and insurance in, in Central Europe. And well, it was quite a ride the last two years. And it's also your fault. Well, that makes me happy. Yeah. Is it actually broken your foot? Or is yeah, it... I have a small break uh, and severe sprains. So. Yeah. Happens. Yeah, but what you guys need to know, so we're doing here uh, a meeting uh, even though he um, uh, has a broken foot. <laughs> but I, who would I be if I would not come with something and I really thought about how actually, what could we do? I know you're still not having a favorite soccer team in, right. in, in, in Europe yet. Yeah. And you're a fan of underpriced attention. I mean, I, I think you invented this scientific term. Thank you. I know a club uh, who uh, is, was once uh, dominating Europe, um, winning the Champions League against Real Madrid. 1980 and since like a few decades of decay and mismanagement after 99 years belonging to the highest class in soccer in Germany we were relegated Hamburg Sports Club yeah and I know you want to buy the Jets okay yes. yeah but maybe you need a step stone or you can try <laughs> out so I brought you actually something I, love it. I brought you something um, it's a jersey, Hamburg Sports Club jersey. I love like it. Like this, but also the back. The back I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I, I, I found out the time to The time is right. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. I can't wait to wear it. One thing I wanted also to ask you, because um, you have not only built Vayner Media and your personal brand, but actually you have um, um, worked in, a, in the liquor business, which is like a local regional yeah. business. Very similar actually to what a sales agent yeah. in the insurance industry yeah. does. Um, but what would you recommend a sales agent that has an office around the corner, has one or two employees, is, is, is struggling, is doing a good job, but he knows that he knows, needs to do something different? What, what could he do without a million dollar budget? Uh, community manage. They could go to LinkedIn, find every article and conversation, Facebook group, every article and conversation about what they talk about and literally join the conversation and share their ideas. Another question I had is um, in sales and insurance is very short term. I've heard you talk about it before how toxic short term incentives can be. So um, what you have is at the beginning of each year, the uh, C-suit says um, how much uh, accident insurance and health insurance his, uh, uh, people have should sell, have to sell this year, independently of the desires of the customer. Yep. So my question, and this leads, by the way, and there was just a study coming out that the insurance industry, uh, the people working there are like the second unpopular people around, only beaten by politicians. And that can't be a competition, actually. My question to you, how could we um, change the structure of sales and integration? The best salespeople in the world are the ones that have people coming to them. 
Yeah. Uh, hey, nerd, you want pretty girls to like you? Go put your head down for a decade, build a humongous company, and use financial success as a tour, right? Yeah. Put in the work. Like, so to me, I think the great way to go about this is to play the long game. Yeah. But in the beginning, you've got to play the long game and the short game because you don't want to get fired. It's just extra work to build a brand, believe in what you sell, yeah. and then over time, have people come to you. But would you have a tip for a CSU that says, Robin, uh, we are making a lot of uh, revenue and we need to do it in order to pay all the people's uh, salaries? I think you can do both. Mm -hmm. So also from the headquarters uh, that they change the incentives? But headquarters do it. Like big, like I know, like if we're talking Fortune 5000 yeah. companies, or give me, give, if, I know you're asking, I know we gotta go, but I wanna get this across. We're gonna get this one. What kind of revenue does that company, in your mind, yeah. you're saying big, I just wanna hear it. What kind 500 of 500 million to 100 billion. Those fucking people are spending, like, you can beep it out. Yeah. Like that's how your audience No, it's okay. Is. Good. They're spending a ton of money on marketing. Yeah. It's B2B marketing. Yeah. I, you know what I would say to them? I say, hey, Rick. Instead of spending eight million dollars a year on trade shows, spend seven this year. Seven. It's still gonna be good. Yeah. Give me a million dollars and let me show you what LinkedIn can do. So, if you made it to here, it means you really like the video. It would mean the world to me if you could hit the subscribe button down here or sign up for our newsletter so we can give you all the hottest, newest trends we scout around the world for free even sooner.